Hello, how to solve for s in this equation 10 to the power of s plus 100 to the power of s is equal to 1000 to the power of x. In this equation, we are going to make use of two methods. Let's consider the first method. Then here, we can divide all through by 1000. That is 10 to the power of s divided by 1000 to the power of x plus 100 to the power of s divided by 1000 to the power of s is equal to 1000 to the power of s divided by 1000 to the power of x. This we cancel this. Then we have 10 divided by 1000 all to the power of x plus 100 divided by 1000 all to the power of s is equal to 1. That is, if you have a raised to power n divided by b raised to power n, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. Then here we have 10 here 1, 10 here 100, then 100 here 1, 100 here 10. So this is 1 divided by 100 all to the power of s plus 1 divided by 10 all to the power of s is equal to 1. Now, this can be written as 1 divided by 10 square all to the power of s plus 1 divided by 10 all to the power of s is equal to 1. Then this is also 1 square. So, this can be written as 1 divided by 10 all square then all to the power of s plus 1 divided by 10 all to the power of s is equal to 1. Take note of this exponential rule that if you have a raised to the power m to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power n to the power of m. This is equal to a raised to the power m n. Then this can be written as 1 divided by 10 to the power of s then all square plus 1 divided by 10 or to the power of s is equal to 1. Now from here let 1 over 10 to the power of s is equal to y. Then if you substitute y here we have y square plus y is equal to 1. This is y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. And from a quadratic general formula, y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then from this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 c is equal to minus 1 then y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1. Then y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square that is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 that is plus 4 over 
two. Then this is equal to minus one plus or minus square root of five over two. Therefore, y is equal to minus one plus square root of five over two or y is equal to minus one minus square root of five over two then if you look at this from here this is positive and this is positive this is okay but y is equal to one over ten to the power of x so let's substitute we have one over ten to the power of s is equal to one minus one plus root five over two or one over ten to the power of s is equal to minus one minus root five over two the whole of this is rejected so the only resolution we consider is this therefore from 1 over 10 to the power of s is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 now let's take the log of both sides if you take the log of both sides we have log 1 over 10 to the power of s is equal to log minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 then we have s log 1 over 10 is equal to log minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then this can be written as s log 10 to the power of minus 1 is equal to log of minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now this is minus s log 10 is equal to log minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then let's divide both sides by log 10 divided by log 10. This we cancel this and of course log 10 is equal to 1. So the whole of this can be written as minus s is equal to log of minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 then s is equal to minus log minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 then this can be written as s is equal to log of minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of min to the power of minus 1 so this can be written as s is equal to log of root 5 minus 1 over 2 to the power of minus 1 s is equal to 2 over because of this minus 1 we have root 5 minus 1 then log now we have to rationalize this by multiply both denominator and denominator by the conjugate of this denominator s is equal to then log 2 multiply by root 5 plus 1 divided by root 5 minus 1 multiplied by root 5 plus 1 then s is equal to log 2 bracket root 5 plus 1 
divided by if you multiply this root 5 times root 5 this is 5 then root 5 times 1 that is plus root 5 minus 1 times root 5 that is minus root 5 minus 1 times 1 that is minus 1 now s is equal to log 2 root 5 plus 1 divided by this will cancel this 5 minus 1 that is 4 then 2 year 1 2 year 2 therefore s is equal to log root 5 plus 1 over 2 and this is the final answer so let's consider the second method let's call method 2 we have the given equation then 10 to the power of s plus 100 to the power of s is equal to 1000 to the power of s now let's divide all through by 10 to the power of s this divided by 10 to the power of s this divided by 10 to the power of s and this divided by 10 to the power of s this we cancel this one we have one plus this can be written as 100 over 10 to the power of s is equal to 1000 over 10 to the power of s this we cancel this we have this we cancel this here is 1 plus 10 to the power of s is equal to 100 to the power of s then this is 1 plus 10 to the power of s is equal to 1 raised to the power of s can be written as 10 square to the power of s then this can be written as then this can be written as 1 plus 10 to the power of s is equal to 10 to the power of s all square now let 10 to the power of s is equal to a then we have 1 plus a is equal to a square now we have 1 plus a minus a square is equal to 0 then let's rewrite this we have a square minus a minus 1 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula from quadratic general formula we have a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and from this equation we have a is equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 c equal to minus 1 okay. a is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 which is c then over 2 multiplied by 1 a is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of this is 5 over 2 then a is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 but 10 to the power of s is equal to a then 10 to the power of s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 10 to the power of s is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 so this is positive this is negative so this is rejected
and therefore we have 10 to the power of s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. If you take the log of both sides, we have log 10 to the power of s is equal to log of 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then s log 10 is equal to log of 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's divide both sides by log 10 divided by log 10. This will cancel this. S is equal to log this can be written as root 5 plus 1 over 2 because log 10 is 1. So, and this is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed the two methods. So, the second one is even much more simpler than the first one. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.